Hello everybody, what do? Bring you guys a very special video today. In this video, I have some new Peach and Daisy tech. That is right, your good old local Peach has got some new tech for all you boys and girls. And with this tech, turnips are gonna be a lot more dangerous when used properly. Shielding version Peach and Daisy is gonna be a lot scarier. And it's gonna lead to a point where you can shut down every single option that your opponent has out of shield. Basically, they can't do anything. And you can shut down all of those options at the exact same time. Now, what is this tech that I'm hyping up? Well, let me show you. Now, to understand this, I'm breaking this down to two parts. And I'm gonna quickly show you the first half. Now, if you see my kill confirm combo video that I made yesterday prior to this video, you may have seen a section of video where I did something like this. Okay. Now, in the making of that video, there was one point when I had a little execution error. And instead of going for the down tilt, I did this. Now, right now you guys are probably saying like, you know what, this sucks. I'm just, I'm turn I'm stopping the video right now. Like, look, w w what is that? Right, it's cool you get a turn up to uh, a, a grab, but you really can't get much out of it. You probably could have gone for a longer combo. You're not going to kill, yada, yada, yada. And you're totally right. But as I said, there are two parts to this, and I need you to understand this so you can see how it leads to the big picture. All right? Now, this works up until 100% on Mario, at least. Right. I've done that at 115, but I've had like inconsistencies with doing that. Like half the time I get it, other half I don't. So at 115, it's it could be done, but consistently 100. All right. So that's first half. Boom. We got that out the way. You know how it works because um, tossing a turn up down, you actually recover faster than tossing it forward. That's why stuff like, so yeah, I can just grab it right away. It, stuff like that is possible, okay? Now, to the second half. If you do this on shield, depending on what turn up you're using, you can cover multiple to all options out of shield, right? I did the math for you guys. I did the frame data, play around with the numbers, all of that. If you have a regular turn up, and you do it on shield, it is a run block. Zero run block basically means both you and your opponent can move at the exact same time. Anything that's negative on block basically means that's how many frames your opponent can move before you. Anything that's positive on block basically means that's how many frames you can move before your opponent. Okay, you got that? Cool. Moving on. So, what I'm gonna do here is, okay, he's on control. I am going to have Mario jump to a nair. And at the exact same time, I'm gonna have Daisy input a grab. All right. So I'm gonna input my grab. Beep. I'm gonna have Mario input the jump. Beep. And now, as you can see, Mario's jumping. Daisy's grabbing. Now I am going to input the nair. Beep. And as you can see. I get hit at the exact same time that I grabbed Mario. So you will see a grab break, but I'm going to take the there. Yep, see, there you go. All right. Now, what was the point of that? Well, I'm tell you. Any attack that is not at least three frames, if your opponent says you jump out of shield, you can grab them. You can grab them out this shield from the aerials, okay? So if you do that on shield with that turn up and your opponent tries to jump to an attack that is not three frames, you can grab them. Okay, so you can snuff out areas out of shield, you can snuff out shield grabs because shield grabbing an attack is actually 10 frames. You suffer four frames of landing lag, I mean, I said landing lag. <laughs> um, shield lag or whatever, and your grab will actually come out on frame 10. If you have tether characters, it's even worse. 
So you can grab your opponent for trying to grab you out of shield, and you can grab them out of their jump attacks. And you could grab certain up -bees out of shield depending on what it is. I think Cloud's up -bee hits on frame seven. So you can actually grab Cloud out of his up -bee. Right? Other options your opponent has is they can sidestep and roll, right? If they send something. But if you think that is going to happen, you can actually jab them. Because when your opponent rolls slash sidestep, there are two frames at startup where your opponent is open before they become invincible, okay? Where they can't be touched. So two frames at the start of a roll sidestep, they're open. You have two frame room to punish them, and the jab is two frames. So you do frame perfect, you can actually jab them out of rolling sidestep. All right? Okay, cool, cool. We got that information. Now that is with the regular turn up. Now, if you have a winky face, and you do that on shield, it is positive three. Okay, positive three. So basically, if Mario was to jump, or any character was to jump, their jump frames is three. They're still on the ground. So it would look something like this. Uh, let me demonstrate this for you. Okay, I am, oh, what am I doing? So I'm gonna grab on this frame. One, two, three. Now, the next frame, I'm gonna input a jump on Mario. Go for the jump. Boom. That's what it would look like. If the opponent was to try to jump to an air attack. Frame three. Okay. So yeah. They wouldn't even get off the ground. Because everyone pretty sure has a universal jump squad of three frames. It takes four on the fourth frame, that's when you're airborne. For three frames, you're still on the ground. You just have to squat animation when you're about to rise. So that's what it would look like if your opponent was to try to attack you with an air attack. They couldn't do anything. Right? So they wouldn't even get off the ground. You could snuff out probably a bit more up bees that are a bit faster. And again, they, they can't shield grab you. Uh, you would still have to jab to catch like rolls and uh, side steps, I believe. All right. So that's what the winky face turn up. Okay. Now, if you do it with the ditto turn up, I call it beady eyes because you know the eyes are. I don't know, that's me, I call it BD eyes. But everybody calls it turn up, and I'm like, uh, uh everybody calls it diddle turn up. I'm like, it's so boring, I just call it BD eyes because, because, you know, I'm just, look, don't judge me, all right? Anyway, ditto. If you do that on shield with a diddle turn up, it is actually positive six, okay? So you basically have a guaranteed grab on your opponent. They can't do anything. They are stuck. They can't do anything. If you do that on shield, right? Positive six. So a grab is basically covering every single option. If their shield is small, like it's about to crack or something, you could probably get a free I don't know, he jab shield something to freaking break it. Like this doesn't really have anything that's uh, fast enough, but either way, they can't do anything. That's a guaranteed grab. If you do that on shield, guaranteed grab. Okay, you can move six right before them. This is six, all right? Boom, guaranteed. Now, if you have a stitch face, oh my God, you can definitely break a shield with a stitch face. A stitch face, you are positive 13. You can move 13 frames for your opponent. So what that basically means is with a stitch face, you get a guaranteed down tilt. Uh, 
I don't know how many frames side B is. Oh, I forgot. But you get down tilt. You get this. You could probably shield poke with a down smash. All right, you you have a few options. Basically, just pop the shield. They they're stuck. Okay. Well, so this face it's even worse. But if you have at least the diddle turn up, you can grab your opponent for free. They can't do anything. The only way that they can escape this is if they parry. All right, they parry. But if Outside of that, um, if you do that with a diddle turn up, you snuff every option your opponent has out of shield. They're stuck. They can't do anything. And this could also lead to some guaranteed pressure because you can uh, frame trap your opponent to think they want to do something. So you could probably go for um, a turn up toss down on shield and then down tilt them and you could probably catch them out of their jump because they're probably still air airborne right do that or they're trying to shield grab you whatever um yeah you can frame trap them so there's a lot of things that you can get out of this okay so if your opponent was to uh try to do something on a shield you can do that if you were to go for it at low percent and um the opponent was and you actually hit them like i say they dropped the shield early or something that's why I, this point that i cleaned earlier where you could do this you can get that all right you can get that off and if you were trying to frame trap um and they let go of their shield or whatever or you hit them you know you could get a guaranteed down tilt and then go for a little whatever combo that you want so yes that is the tech i guess i'm gonna call it turn turn throw because you don't want to turn up you're throwing the turn up to a grab well not turn throw turn grab all right because you're doing the turn up to a grab so with at least the ditto the ditto stitch face it's a guaranteed grab and did I say ditto stitch face? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. With the ditto turn up, guarantee grab, with a stitch, you will get uh, a guaranteed shield break, depending on how small the shield is, right? But if you want to cover all options, ditto turn up. A majority of their options, um, probably like half the winky face and you can cover shield grabbing and attacks out of shield like air attacks that are uh, more than three frames and there you go right so if you have your opponent on shield they see you come with a turn up and they think you're gonna toss it and whatever you can Go for you know stuff like that. It, it becomes really tricky, and then when a turn up, you can fake it. So if your opponent's getting used to that, you know you can force them to move or try to roll something and then wait for it. And dude, there's some crazy stuff. Now I am going to make a scripted video of this information, but I just want to get up, get this out there because when I showcase stuff, I like to explain it. So people can understand and how it works instead of just making a, a scripted video showcasing stuff like that and then people pipe question like yo is this true like it does this actually work is it guaranteed i don't know man that looks trivial i feel like i could probably move or, or something no like i like to explain stuff this way and involve frame data because a lot of people they don't know their frame data they may be good with the character and whatnot but when it comes to frame data people don't know and stuff like this can actually go a long way. Like, you could be one step ahead of the game. So, I am going to make a, a scripted video of this. And just to showcase some examples. And, you know, real, real time. But, there you go. That is the new Peach and Daisy tech for you guys. 
to play with. All right, so hope you guys have fun with this. Let me know how it goes. Have you tried it on anybody? Like what? Let me know your experience with this, all right? So thank you all for watching. Thanks to my new subscribers that I've got, as well as my veteran subscribers. All you guys together are freaking savages. And I will see you in the next video. So until then, peace off. Oh.